what's going on guys welcome back to another video on my channel um now i know i said the last video was gonna be my final video but that's actually gonna be my final plush video for now so i might not be making a plush video anytime soon but luckily i mean or fortunately i have time for these videos my ranking videos this is not a rank video but it, it is going to consist of ranking just not all of the boss fights so today we're going to be talking about cuphead um don't deal with the devil boss fights the worst and best ones now you might see other people do this they actually rank them but i'm doing a best and worst list now some of these bot some of the some of these bosses on this list might be controversial so be warned if you're going to be mad or anything just kindly say, oh, I disagree, you know, I think this guy's better, and I'll be, I'll be completely fine with that, but if you're like, hey, this is better, and all that, I, I'm just gonna be pissed off, like, just, just don't do that, um, now if you agree with my list, thanks, because most of my list might be agreeable, but some of it, just a little bit might not, so yeah, um, spoilers if you haven't played Cuphead, so, um, yeah, let's get started with, um, starting off with the worst boss fights, now, this is not going to be a worst to best. This is going to be the worst boss fights in the game that I think in my or in my opinion. Let's get started. So, the fifth worst boss fight in the game to me is Beppy the Clown. Now, Beppy, I was originally going to put Goopy Legrande, but Goopy Legrande was, wasn't that bad. He was just easy. That's why he was bad. But that's because he's one of the very first boss fights. But Beppy the Clown is a second... Um, ink, well, he's in Inkwell Isle 2, and to be honest, I only hate him, he's only in the lowest, is because he has, um, one of his phases, they're, they're plausible, that you can beat it, like, but unfortunately me and my brother were playing Cuphead, and we could not beat the final phase, if you see his final phase, you will know what I'm talking about, because there are stupid penguins who keep shooting baseballs, at you and me and my brother tried taking him out but there was a roller coaster coming so it was just it was a mess for the final phase so that's why he's on my fifth worst now he's on my fifth worst so he's not the worst so i still enjoy him he's like he's fine but he's just he's just he's just bad so now my fourth worst um i'm not sure this will be controversial or not kyla maria now a lot of people say that she has the most rule 34 in the game uh, I'm sorry, I had to bring that up. Um, Kyla Maria. Now, um, same thing with Bebby the Clown. I only put her on my worst list because a lot of people say she's she's a good boss fight. You know, she's like an, an average boss fight. Like you don't hate her, you don't like her. She's like it's perfect. But um, Kyla Maria, she's pretty easy. But um, most of her phases, um, you have to dodge a lot. But I think that's because I'm just a noob. But for the second phase, I think it's the second phase, she turns into Medusa. And the thing I don't like is that she turns into, insto into stone. And you have to try to mash the A button in order to break out. And it's really annoying when her um, stingrays start shooting like like little little rocks. So that's why she's on the worst list. But she is a little higher, so that's bad. Same thing with the final phase. She still, she still does um, freezes you, and it's way worse. Just need to catch my breath. <sighs> okay. Now let's get into the top three. These three, I think, are like, it's like, oh, this is bad. Oh, this is worse. This is the worst. So this is bad. Ribby and Croaks is bad. Just straight up bad. I hate it. I hate this boss fight. Now people say, oh, it's pretty easy. And that you're just a noob. Well, guess what? Yes, it is hard. And I am a noob. But who cares? I mean, okay, a lot of people care. But it doesn't matter, okay? Because no matter what, this boss fight... Okay, the first phase is is not that difficult. I'll admit that. It's actually pretty easy. But when he shoots falcon punches everywhere, uh, Ribby, it just it's hard to dodge. Even parrying them. So, yeah, the first phase is pretty easy. Um... The second phase is where you have to balance yourself, um, so I think that's pretty easy, but the final phase f sucks, because you can only attack Ribbity and Croaks when he is doing a, um, attack move, an attack move. So yeah, that's why he is just bad. Now, what's worse is, this is worse, Grim Matchstick. Now, a lot of people 
will say that, okay, not a lot, but people say, th- this is actually very controversial, but people say that this is, like, their favorite boss fight. And I have to completely disagree. And again, yes, I might be bad, but still, it doesn't matter. I hate this boss fight. Hate it. Absolutely hate it. Okay, let's talk about one by one for the first phase. So, the first phase, he tries to shoot, like, beams out of his eyes. And then in his second phase, no. And then he tries to put his tail up in the first phase as well, when you can't even see it out of nowhere. Then in the second phase, fireball dudes come out of his tongue, heartburn, and they start jumping at you. And it is impossible to predict their their um, their jump move, since they jump low or high. And then the final phase sucks. He literally turns into like a King Ghidorah style, you know, or like a Hydra. And literally he starts shooting fireballs. And then he, somewhat one of the heads turns into a flamethrower randomly. Um, and if you shoot the fireballs, they split up and shoot more fireballs. Um, and it's just really annoying. And expert mode doesn't make it any easier. So yeah, that's why he is just worse. But what is the worst boss fight? I think so many people can agree with this who have played Cuphead that this is the worst boss fight in the game. Dr. Call's Robot. This is the worst boss fight in the game. Not just the worst, but the most unfair boss fight in the game. I cannot stress this enough how unfair it is. Okay, so you see that antennae at the top? It shoots a beam. Now that hole in the middle on the, on the chest robot... Uh, shoots a laser that uh, shoots up and down like at the same time and you have to parry that which is not pretty difficult but the bottom thing like that little um that little door at the bottom of the stomach like where the belly button would be it shoots these like magnet things i don't even know but it's just too much to handle expert mode makes it worse so it's impossible to beat this boss fight unless you're an absolute expert pro so now, people will say that, oh, it's because you suck. But no, it's not because I suck. It's because it's completely unfair and is unnecessary. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's just the worst boss fight in the game. I cannot stress this enough. And the final phase, it's fine, you know, but it's just, it's it's not, it's, it's, it's just terrible. It's terrible. Second phase is just terrible, too, because they shoot cat bombs from the sides. Now, let's get into the positive side. Change from the negative to the positive side. Let's start with the best, the fifth best. Now, my fifth best boss fight in the game has to be the root pack. This is probably the very first boss fight you encounter in the whole game. So, I mean, you could fight another boss fight, but this would most likely be the first boss fight you fight. And I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this this boss fight because it the music is actually really catchy. Just Just listen to it. It's called Botanic Panic. Panic Botanic. I don't know. Just listen to the music. It is really catchy. Um, and I love it. Um, that's one reason why I like the boss fight. Now, why is it the lowest best? Well, simple. Um, it's the very first boss fight you would, you would fight. So, of course, it's, it's low. Because it's easy. Too easy and not too hard, obviously. But it's easy, so it makes it a little boring. Um, and I think that's it, you know? Now, there is a secret boss fight in this, but I'm not going to talk about that that much. Just go watch a YouTube video on that. Now, my fourth best boss fight in Cuphead is Wally Warbles. Now, he has to be he has to have the best soundtrack or uh, uh, boss fight music in the game, next to the devil, of course. But he has to have the best one. It's just his music, just listen to it. It just it sounds epic. Honestly, it just sounds epic. It sounds really epic at the end and I really love the music. Um the boss fight itself, though, um, he does shoot a lot of attacks, but they're balanced. Unlike Dr. Call's robot, they are balanced. He shoots eggs out of his mouth, shoots, um, three bullets out of his face, and he sends birds, um, somewhere on the screen. <sighs> I need to catch my breath, sorry. Now let's get to the third best. So, these top three are gonna be good, um, great, and then this one's just the best. So, third best is phantom express now this is actually the final um boss you fight not the finale boss fight but the final boss fight final normal boss fight you beat in the game you fight in the game and i love this boss fight even its music its music is so you know it gives you those 
like scary spooky halloween vibes you know and this this boss fight literally is crawling with halloween vibes you know there's pumpkins there's ghosts and there's skeletons and everything just just watch a boss fight on it it's really good and it really is a fun boss fight because it's the final or, or ordinary boss fight. So you first have to face off like a Cyclops that shoots eyes out of its hands. Kind of like that one in Super Mario 64. And then you have to fight a skeleton which will um, smash you with his arms in three areas. And you have to move the cart or whatever it is somewhere to avoid them. And of course shoot his face. And then I'm not sure what the third phase is, but you have to dodge these ghosts, which will occasionally drop their their skull, and the, and those will fall. You can parry those, um, and then you have to fight these two. I don't even know what they're called. Just just go watch a YouTube video on that. I can't explain. And then the final phase, you have to fight the train itself by defeating its heart, which is in the furnace of the train. Now, what's better? What is a great boss fight to me? Well, my second best boss fight is the devil. Now, yes, people say this is their favorite boss fight. And I I can't stress this enough that I, I can't agree. But there's another boss fight that is better. But I'll get into that a bit. The devil, if you hear its music, they actually combine all the boss fights. I'm not sure if they even do. But they combine most of the boss fights, musics, and put them into the devil's boss fight. Um, first phase. And it is incredible. It is really good that they did that. It's actually really clever. And they did it well done, you know. Um, the devil itself, boss fight, first phase. He actually uses his um, a trident a lot, or whatever that is. His staff. Um, to shoot, like, balls, fireballs. Um, I forgot the other one. And it's really good. And there are many demons that come out of the sides. And he turns into just random abominations at times to try to kill you. Now the second phase, he um, turns into a giant. And he just does a bunch of random stuff. Such as shooting uh, or summoning a pink bomb, parry bomb, that will make a, bit, a massive explosion on screen. And you have to parry it. Um, he'll... There will occasionally be um, chips that will fall, casino chips that will fall from the sky, um, etc. And then the third phase, he gets mad, and he gets more aggressive with his um, attacks. And then the final phase, you are left with one platform to jump on, while there, of course, are still casino chips falling on you. And he starts crying, and pretty much you just have to finish him off. So yeah, he is my second best boss fight. But what is what is the my favorite boss fight in the game? Now this might be really controversial, but not controversial. It's more understandable actually. My favorite boss fight in the game is Werner Wormen. Why is he my favorite? Why could he possibly be my favorite? Because he gives me Tom and Jerry vibes. If you do not watch the show Tom and Jerry, just please do. It is a classic, an absolute classic, and that's what Werner Wormen did for me. Werner Wormen is obviously a mouse and a can, and you have to fight him in three phases. First one, you just find him in his can, and he shoots um, fire bombs from his, like, um, a cannon, and he shoots garbage at you. Um, then in the second phase, his tin can gets broken, and now you have to, like, uh, try to dodge the bottle caps at the sides, and you have to dodge his flamethrower, which are by his uh, broken tin can. Then after that, a cat comes in, and swallows Werner Worman, and you have to fight that cat, which will summon ghost ma- mice, um, and will occasionally grab, get his hand by his side, and uh, try to grab you with it by each side, and planks will start falling, and etc. It's a really good boss fight. It's easy, so that's probably it's that's probably one of the reasons why this would be controversial because. Oh, it's easy. You're on a noob level. Well, yes, it's easy. And it just gives me so many good vibes of Tom and Jerry. It's just, it's so, so good, you know? So that's why Warner Woman is my, my favorite. Now, a lot of people can put this high on the list, but people would mostly put the devil at the top. But to me, I think Worman Worman just deserves to be on um the top. So yeah, that is my top five best and worst um, boss fights in Cuphead. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Do you think 
Do you think any of these could be put in a better place, or do you agree or disagree, you know? Um, personally, I think I could have put Wally Warbles on third, but I think Phantom Express just beats him by a lot. And, um, yeah, so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.